Former enemies, now allies, paying their respects at the site of one of the single most horrific attacks carried out in war. At the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park, a show of unity from the G7 in response to new dangers in a world seemingly imperiled by new conflicts. Seated for their first session, a working lunch, the seven plus EU leaders heard from the host about the mounting global challenges they face. The world is currently confronting complex crises, such as the pandemic, the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Facing these, the G7, which shares fundamental values, must effectively respond to the key issues of the international community and lead the world. On this first day of the summit, the biggest news was made by a world leader who wasn't here, President Volodymyr Zelensky of Ukraine, but who was widely reported to be planning to attend in person on the last day instead of by video link, speculation that was later denied by Kyiv. Adding to the pressures on Russia, a new raft of sanctions has been announced, as well as steps to stop Moscow getting around them. We are now focused on shutting the door on loopholes and continuing to, and continuing to cut Russia off from critical supplies. We will restrict trade in Russian diamonds. Russian diamonds are not forever. This summit being hosted by the only country to have been the victim of an atomic attack, with the agenda dominated by Ukraine, facing its own present-day wartime nuclear threat.